Hey YouTube. Um, so I know tomorrow is my weigh-in day, my official week start end date, um, and I will probably wind up making a video for tomorrow as well. But it just feels like there's been a lot going on the last few days, and I wanted to make a really quick video, so I'm not trying to cram a ton of stuff into tomorrow's update. Um, and the biggest thing, I'm sorry first that I feel like my backdrops are always really weird. Our apartment's tiny. I'm always trying to find good lighting, and I have a really crappy webcam. So hopefully for Christmas, I will be getting a better one. Um, and then I won't be in like the weirdest. I'm like under a direct light with lighting in the background, and I still feel like my face is all shadowy, but whatever. Um, so the biggest thing that kind of happened in the last few days since last Tuesday is I had, well, okay, basically I started kind of getting cocky with food. And part of that is that, you know, every surgeon's different. And of course, that means I should follow my surgeon's instructions. But really what it means is that I've been watching a ton of videos and reading weight loss surgery for dummies and thinking, well, some people get to start eating more solid -y kinds of foods after 10 days or after two weeks or whatever. Um, and it is sort of weird, like my surgeon says I can have meatloaf after 10 days, or after the first week, actually. Um, but then I can't have any, you know, anything else. So anyway, I made um, ground turkey chili, and it was really, really good with beans. But, you know, it wasn't puree. It was more of a soft food. And, I was eating that. It was going down really, really well and sitting well. And so the next kind of clump of things I'm allowed to try, one of them is deli meat, you know, really moist deli meat. Well, I went to the grocery store, and I always used to get, you know, they're like fake protein deli slices. So it's not real meat. It's, you know, wheat, gluten, kind of whatever. But four slices, which I think I could probably eat, is 13 grams of protein, which is awesome. So not even thinking, I was like, oh, yeah, I'll definitely get these. These will be so great. Well, fake meat is so much less moist than turkey would be or, you know, than any kind of meat really would be. So, but I didn't think about that. I was just like, oh, I can have, you know, the next kind of clump is deli meat and this is deli meat and I'm, you know, sliding a little bit early, but that's fine. Everything else has been going down really well and I haven't had any vomiting at all, which I'm so grateful for. Um, so I came back home and I, you know, rolled up a piece and ate it. And okay, maybe also another thing I'm getting cocky about, this is terrible, is like, you know, I'd been drinking a few sips and I was like, well, I just had a few sips. I don't really need to wake up full 30 minutes for a few sips. So, you know, it was probably like 15 minutes later and I'm sure that contributed to it. Um, I came into the kitchen and, you know, rolled up, two, I was like, I'll just have two slices. And the first one went down, and, you know, the second one went down. And I went to have a third slice, and just, like, all of a sudden, I could not do it. Like, just really, really, really painful. And, I mean, I've been trying to kind of pay attention to when I feel full because I feel like everything's rerouted, and full before was, like, maximum capacity of my stomach. Do you know what I mean? And even before when I would do Weight Watchers or when I would do any sort of dieting, they're always like, well, try to stop when you're 80% full or try to stop when you're satisfied before you're full. Um, and even reading my surgeon's instructions, you know, it's like you want to stop when you have absolutely no hunger but not when you're full because you're, when you're full, you'll, you know, have some discomfort maybe in your chest. You know, it's not going to be that, like, full, good, warm feeling from before. It's like discomfort. So I've been trying to really pay attention to what full feels like, and I feel like I'm even having a little bit of a hard time with that. Like sometimes I'll eat a quarter of a cup of food, and I just I start to feel uncomfortable, and it's like obviously that's done, but should I be stopping before that? Like is that too far? Am I stretching my pouch? And then other times I'll have half a cup, which is really, you know, kind of my limit, and I, I don't feel, I feel satisfied, but I don't feel any sort of like discomfort or anything. So is that where I should be stopping? You know, it just doesn't, obviously it's not consistent meal to meal, and it depends a lot on a lot of things, but it's really hard for me to figure out, like, what appropriately satisfied feels like instead of full. So anyway, on Friday, it was not full. It was horrible. It was so, so, so horrible. And, I mean, I'm really lucky that it happened Friday night, and I was at home, and I wasn't in a restaurant or anything like that. 
And I mean, I went, I didn't feel like I was going to throw up, although later I wished I had thrown up instead, because I went and laid down in bed and basically was holding myself completely still, trying to take deep breaths, trying to get through it. Um, and it just felt like sort of like cramping, like really, really tight, painful cramping. And it was almost like, and I, this probably isn't true, but it was almost like I could feel it moving slowly through my body. And then, of course, I was like, yeah, that was stupid. I mean, that wasn't even soft, mush in my mouth, deli meat. That was fake deli meat, a big slab of wheat gluten that I'm like, which is really hard to digest, that I'm forcing through my new body. It was just like so frustrated with myself that I hadn't thought about it. Um, and so I, I, after about half an hour, I was like, I'm going to go to bed, and the pain had sort of let up. And it was weird because the next morning I woke up, and it wasn't the same pain, but it was like the bottom right corner of my abdomen, there was still pain. And, you know, I drank a lot of water and, you know, I went back to having, you know, the like stool softener that my surgeon had prescribed me. So I had that that whole day just to like really help it along. And I mean, really Saturday, I just felt lousy. Like I went back to having protein shakes and egg salad and really, really gentle foods. Um, it was just terrible. Like, I don't know, I think about eating such shit before the surgery. Sorry, I swore. Um, such crap before the surgery and how I, you know, feel bloated and gross and need to take a nap. But, you know, two hours later I could eat. I could eat again, sure. Probably eat another plate of the same stuff. Um, and this, it was like, I mean, it was torture. It was torture. Like, I don't know what it's going to take for me to try to eat that again, which is funny because probably in two months or probably in four months, those will be a really good source of protein, those slices. Um, but, like, I'm afraid of them now. Like, I'm just like, there's no way I'm going to have that again. I mean, at least for a really long time. So then Sunday was the ultimate challenge the next day. Um, Saturday took it really easy, and then Sunday I went out for friends with brunch to brunch. And was really nervous about it, was like, you know, I'm going to be a weirdo, whatever. But I got cheddar jalapeno grits, which spicy food, I have not done anything to my stomach. I've been having spicy foods this whole time. And my surgeon said that was fine. And they were so good and so soft. And I mean, I think I eat even less when I'm, with, when I'm out of the house, basically, because I'm so afraid of feeling really uncomfortable and having to to back and take deep breaths and not seem like a weirdo while I'm doing that and all that sort of thing. So, I mean, I probably had an eighth of a cup of grits and then I had half of an egg. Um, and it was just so delicious and it was really nice. And I realized I was talking with my friends so much and, you know, it's probably the first brunch. I love, 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 love brunch. But it's probably the first brunch I've left in years where I haven't needed or wanted to, like, unbutton my pants and take a nap. Because I love, you know, banana cream cheese stuffed French toast with nuts and syrup and, you know, just these massive slices of quiche and omelet and, you know, bacon and potatoes and the whole deal. And this is like, I just left feeling so good. You know, everything sat really well. I felt really satisfied. I had such a lovely time. And then I went with my friends and we had tea at this really cute coffee shop down the street. And I got peppermint tea and waited my full 30 minutes was not going to do anything stupid, probably 40 minutes, um, and then sipped this peppermint tea, which was so, you know, it was, just, it was lovely. It was really lovely. Um, and, I mean, I have to hold on to that because that was a really good, easy, smooth kind of meal. And, man, that felt good to know that I could be social and I could be out and I could be normal. And, like, comparing that to Friday night when I was writhing in pain because of two slices of fake deli meat was, like, insane. And then actually that night, too, with other friends that were coming into town that went to, you know, they wanted to go to this amazing Italian restaurant. I got really bummed getting, you know, when we went there. The menu looked incredible, and I couldn't eat anything, you know. I mean, because I'm on soft food stage, obviously, in a while, I'll be able to have a bite or two of anything. But, but I wound up getting these really good potatoes and a side of rac homemade ricotta, and it was delicious. Um, and it's just really good to know that I could do that, you know, that I could go out and I could be social and I could be with my friends. Um, but totally sticking to soft food. No more cockiness on my part. Okay, well, I just wanted to fill you guys in, but I'll be updating tomorrow. 
Um, and go sign up for Secret Santa if you haven't already.